Hello again. Over the last five or six years, a terrible fraud has been perpetrated by several authors who have tried to persuade us that there has been a continuous black presence in England since the time of the Romans. This is quite untrue, of course, but for various reasons, nobody likes to challenge it. The thumbnail to this video shows John Blank, who may not inaptly be called the poster boy of this deception. The man whose image is trotted out to prove that black Tudors were definitely a thing, and that Elizabethan England had a black history which has been hidden and suppressed. The catalyst for all this was a very strange book called Black Tudors, The Untold Story. It says inside, it's by Miranda Kaufman, by the way, um, it says inside, from long forgotten records emerge the remarkable stories of Africans who lived free in Tudor England. Right. So, just to be perfectly clear, this book is about black people who lived in Tudor England. This is what we expect to find inside the book, yeah? The problem is, of course, that it's nothing of the sort. Before going any further, I think we all know that there were various times during the 16th century and later different random foreigners in England, people visiting for a few weeks or a few years, drifters, sailors and so on. That would include Spaniards, Arabs, Moroccans, Chinese people, Indians, Jews and others from all over the world. That's always been the case, there have always been visitors to England. The purpose of this book is to show us that there were a number of black people as well, so that Elizabethan England will uh, give us the idea that black people have always lived here. Let's have a look first at the pictures and see what they tell us. Right, on this page we can see a black person and an Arab, the black person is in a picture painted in the 1580s in Bologna, right, not in England, so that's in, not at all a black person in Tudor England. And the other one is a picture of a Moroccan who led an embassy from Morocco in the 16th century. He's not black either. Those two pictures have got absolutely nothing to do with black Tudors in England. The next page here has, there's um, a picture of a black page. This is in the 16th century. And amongst these people here, there is a black child. And that's the 16th century. This page is about Francis Drake. This is nothing at all to do with Tudor England. It's about his adventures and the people that he met abroad. More about Francis Drake here. No mention here of black people in Tudor, England. At the bottom we've got a black person, but he's from a community of Africans who escaped Spanish captivity. So that's nothing to do with black people living in Tudor, England either. Here's pictures of the Mary Rose. When it sank, one black African who lived in England for a few years was involved in diving to try and um, rescue things from it. Here are some pictures, including black African, for example, black African groom and so on. But of course, these are from the 17th century. These people, it's, um, Charles I there, the Stuart King. This is nothing at all to do with black people in Tudor England either. Here we've got various black people. Um, a German artist has painted a black African drummer playing in Europe somewhere. There's an anonymous member of the Habsburg court of Margaret of Austria and a black trumpeter performing in a French tapestry. These are certainly black people, but they've got nothing at all to do with Tudor England. They're not black Tudors. Finally, we've got two pictures of John Blank, 
of whom we've all heard and seen, and some black musicians at Lisbon. That's also nothing to do with black tutors. I wonder if we can see the point here. There is something a bit fishy about this. Tudor means 16th century England. You can't talk about Tudor Italy or Tudor Central America. All those pictures, the great majority of them, got nothing at all to do with the title of the book, which is Black Tudors. That means black people in Tudor times. All the stuff after 1603, when Elizabeth, the last Tudor monarch, died, is nothing to do with the case. Let's have a look at the, the bulk of the book consists of the profiles of 10 supposed black Tudors. So, we've got John Blank the Trumpeter. Yes, he came to England in 1501 and stayed for about 10 years. So, yes, you could say that he was a black Tudor, if a little, well, briefly. Jacques Francois, the salvage diver, stayed in England for a few years. Diego, the circumnavigator, we do know he was a black African. He sailed with Francis Drake. He spent four years in England. And then there's a man called Edward Swarvey, who definitely was a black African. He came to this country when he was about 20, but no one knows how long he lived here. And there's a, a weaver called Reasonable Black Man, which is a you know, sort of odd name that people gave each other in the 16th century. After that, nothing at all. We've got Mary Phyllis, who was Moroccan, a fellow called Dedery Jacoa, who didn't come to this country until 1610, John Anthony, Anne Cobby, and Catalina of Armandsbury all spent time in England in the 17th century, not in the Tudor period. Ten people profiled in the book, half of whom were in England during the 17th century and cannot possibly be described as of the Tudor period. None of the other five were born in this country and all spent just a few years in England. This, remember, is a book which, allow me to quote from the <coughs> glowing reviews, this book is based on impeccable research in a rich array of sources. Another review says Miranda Kaufman's Black Tudors is grounded in extensive and impeccable archival research. So she has researched extensively and has only managed to come up with just five men in the whole of 16th century England who each spent a few years in the country. That's it. That's all the black Tudors she could find and why she had to flesh out the book with people living at the time of the Stuarts or with Moroccan Arabs. This is the truth about the black Tudors. The whole idea of a black community at that time is absurd and in fact, the most extensive research has managed to uncover just five people in the entire century. And upon this, the myth is founded that um, there was the idea being that it wasn't immigration, black immigration didn't start with the um, Empire Windrush, but that black people have always been here. It's a nonsense. <laughs>